Hello ladies and gentlemen, Buff of Exile here, this is my dirty mirror, this is my terrible painting and today I want to talk to you about Simulacrum and more specifically about lessons learned from Simulacrum from running 20 Simulacrum in this league and over 100 in all of the leagues, I guess, something like this, maybe more, maybe less, so let's get right into the topic. Okay, so first most important lessons is whether or not the Simulacrum is worth running. So what I need you to know is that what will be the drops, because the drops depend on the drops depend on the, the profit. So mainly scarabs, essences, splinters of all the kinds, a little currency and a lot of maps if you don't need T16 maps. So plus and endgame jewels. So simulacrum tend to be more profitable on the, at the start of the league when divine is cheap and the scarabs and essences are expensive. That means that uh, the, the longer you play, the longer the league is, the profit need tends to be lower from the simulacrum unless you are very lucky and you get high end drops or split personality. So this is the first thing. Second thing, the strict filter. I use the never sync, so I won't even... Um, I won't dive deep into the loot filter, but I used Uber, Uber Plus minus the essences and the splinters, the, the small quantities of splinters, and I, I've changed it because you drop all many items in the same place, so they will be easy to pick up and it's worth to pick, pick them up, and they, in total they add really nice to the profit you will have. Third tip. There are leave, the simulacrum is good because you have still a real chance to drop a mirror level drop, which is voices without without dead notes, which tend to be from league to league close to a mirror or something. So it's it's probably the best chance, uh, better chance than dropping the mirror of Calandra by itself, right? Atlas and uh, forty four tip. Atlas and Magic Find have no impact, so you can run Simulacrum in um, any in any time you want without leveling your Atlas or without using your hated Magic Find gear. How I run Simulacrum? I use the uh, for the stash. I use the Quad Tab, the the one you can buy in the shop. I've am I make this quad tab empty, so I have a lot of space, and I drop everything here. So if I have affinities to other to other stashes, the the items will be uh, selected correctly to them. But I all the all the other stuff should get to this quad tab, so I can run efficiently and fast. And why I need to run fast? I need to run fast because I run, and that is other tip, headhunter, which is needed if you don't have it. Don't worry, you can buy a replica, which is almost as good, not as good, but almost as good as you can see here uh, on the on the on the monitor. I have 26 headhunter buffs, that's a lot, and they add best to your gear. Um, they will get you resistances, they will get you fist damage, they will get you all the things you need. Seriously. And that's why you need to run and loot fast. As you can see, the, the looting. Next thing. So, next tip. The simulacrum is hard. It means that you will need a lot. You need to have overcapped rest because you can get ailments and um, certain conditions which will lower your resistance or car curses. And also armor and e or evasion, preferably both. But if you have the choice, the armor is better one. Evasion will kill you from time to time. Also, max total res, which is nice. Endurance charges, uh, corrupted blood, blood immunity. I've also never run without 100 spell suppression and 100, uh, 100 ailments reduction. Uh, plus, phasing. Phasing is super important because you can get get grouped by them by mobs and if you don't have phasing you you can easily easily die in in this um, in this instance well next 
So, uh, and also, sorry, one more thing, movement speed. Movement speed is very important. When you will be getting more experience with the simulacrum run, you will learn how to kite properly most of the effects. So I'm using 200 movement speed just to kite and uh, I can then lower my other defenses. And this is working, I, I die rarely. Next tip, on the higher stages, if you don't have your Hunter's buffs, you can be dead real quick, so that's why you need to loot fast. And if your stash is, is full, then you need to get to the stash tab really fast as well. You cannot use training in, inside because you will lose all the buffs. If you are dead, then you have a problem. You may go into the dead cluster. So if you are st still leveling and you want to keep your experience, just leave the simulacrum. I'll tell you right now, leave it, leave it. No, leave it. No, 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 leave it. <laughs> uh, because So you won't lose six portals and a lot of XP. Uh, for the profit, most of the profit, that, that is the next tip, you will get from the incubators, which you will uh, level, and the games leveled in your offense. If you don't want to trade all the time for those games, Games use the awakened games and you, they will level slower but for bigger profit. Or incubators I use depending on the time of the league, uh, either Ornat incubator or Scarab incubator or Diviner's incubator. And uh, if the the wave is lower than than 15, 16, up to the 20, I also reapply incubators if they are used, but after the, the level 20, 20, after the wave 20 or, or pass, pass it, I, I do not change the incubators, so I do not reapply them because I want to keep the momentum and this takes precious seconds. Now, what next? Make sure you survive the one shot, so also the critical resist uh, critical strike resistance is important and also don't stand in the yeah. you know what i mean don't stand in negative effects by any means don't do it so what else what else mm, you need to have both clear or aoe uh, for aoe this is important Plus, you sometimes will need the need the will meet the boss. I don't know three, four, five times during the, all the waves, and you you and they are hitting hard. They are hitting hard. They are brutal. You need to learn by experience this fight because they are, they hit both in melee and in range really hard. So the teleport is needed in. in the teleporters of some kind is needed and you need to anticipate the, the hit animation just before they are doing the hit animation. And if you can do it, then you can survive the boss fights. As you, uh, in my video, in my other video, you can see as I'm losing five portals to Cossack on wave uh, 30. So I still do it. I still sometimes manage to lose this fight and that's a, that is no problem. Uh, if you are not using six portals, then you are all right, right? If I could choose the tanky build or the glass cannon build as I'm using, I will always choose glass cannon because overall it's faster even if you die. Divination per, uh, orbs per hour are tend to be higher than the, the tanky build. Yeah, so... And sorry, one more thing. You need also Chaos Res because sometimes there will be modifiers which uh, which will change the physical damage into Chaos for the monsters. And if you don't have Chaos Res, you will be you will be in a really bad spot. For this, I'm I'm strongly advising you the progenesis. I mean, this is the best thing you can get anyway, probably. So get yourself progenesis. The faster in the league, the better, because I believe in Affliction League, the progenesis was even 100 divines in some moments. So 
Okay, so thanks. This was all. I hope you learned something about Simulacrum. This was top 10 tips plus two bonus tips because you behaved well during the video by watching it. I see you still. So if you like it, sub, like, etc. Buff effects I allowed. It was a pleasure. See you soon.